morning everybody welcome to my channel my name is Lizzie sorry about my hair I just got home from work and I had a hat and a braid so it's like crimpy and like <laughs> but anyway we are doing the vlog this week for uh, catchy combos catch phrases that are used today and when I sat down to research these I found that a lot of the times nobody really knows where these came from a lot of people just take credit for it so I didn't harp so much on finding out where they came from or what they mean because I did not know oh my god it's so bright in here <laughs> I guess we're just gonna have a glare face the windows here so it's morning light anyway I have all different categories and we're just gonna go through them this one's gonna be uh, short and sweet this week um, I don't really think it matters where they came from but everything that I'm saying is probably something you've heard um, I'll explain it a little bit but if I feel I need to but you're all intelligent you know what they mean we, we say them enough we hear them enough let's get into it let's start with the most famous now I did um, all of these for today like 2023 like what people thought is popular today it's not like of all time although some of these movie ones I was surprised are still on the list because I grew up with these too for some of these but anyway let's get into the movie ones I'll be back from Terminator <laughs> everyone still says that I mean randomly it's not all the time but that's a quote everybody knows here's looking at you Kate that's from Casablanca may the force be with you of course everybody still says that Star Wars they keep reinventing that every generation and then Bond James Bond <laughs> I was surprised that that made the list still um, this one too you talking to me that's from Taxi Driver. If you're a New Yorker, yeah, you talking to me? We say that all the time. <laughs> um, show me the money from Jerry Maguire. Wait, yeah, Taxi Driver is a movie. I was, I was thinking of the other show. <laughs> um, oh, I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. The Godfather. <laughs> Um, this one, of course, I think is going to be on the list of all, for all time, because they play this every Christmas, even though it's technically not a Christmas movie. yippee ki yay motherfucker! <laughs> From Die Hard. Um, and hasta la vista, baby. So that's two from Terminator that made the list still to this day. That's pretty cool for a one movie series. And then, of course... Um, this is Keith Ledger's version, but why so serious? From The Dark Knight, Batman. Um, say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Scarface made it twice as well. Um, I'm king of the world! From Titanic, still on there. Um, I say that every time I'm on a boat, so I feel that. Like I just go right to the front, wait for a wave. I'm king of the lake! Well, Queen of the Lake. <laughs> Change it. <laughs> um, where was I? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. That's from Gone with the Wind. <laughs> uh, this one was pretty funny. I, I can picture people just saying that to fuck around. I am Groot. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, to Infinity and Beyond from Toy Story. Still to this day. E.T. phone home? I didn't know that these young bucks know this, but apparently E.T. is still popular. Or we're saying it, and they're saying it too. There's no crying in baseball. It's from a league of, a league of their own. I'm so glad this is on the, the list because I say that all the time still. Um, you can't handle the truth. That's from A Few Good Men. It's Jack Nicholson on the... You can't handle the truth. <gasps> You just fucked yourself, Jack Nicholson. <laughs> and then, of course, lastly, one of my favorites. My precious. From Lord of the Rings. Of course that would be on there. 
I feel like every time when a friend or somebody's fucking around, like, something they like, they're always like, my precious. <laughs> like, all creepy. <laughs> so I can see why that's on there. Let's do the TV one. Um, this one isn't that long, but is that your final answer? From Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> How you doing? From Friends? It's a no from me. That's Simon Cowell from X Factor. I can't believe that's on the list. Our survey says... That's from Family Fortunes, but I thought that was Family Feud. There are two shows that use that. You're fired <laughs> from The Apprentice. Yabba dabba doo from The Flintstones. I pity the fool from A Team. That's Mr. T. Bazinga from Big Bang Theory. Yada 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 from Seinfeld. <laughs> what you talking about, Willis? From Different Strokes. And Winter is Coming from Game of Thrones. I was like, whoop whoop. I like that one. <laughs> I watch that show. I watch, I say a lot of these too, so I'm like, makes sense why they're on there. Um, now I did, I have a top, uh, the top ones you swear you'd never use, like you heard growing up, you're like, I'm not going to say that shit, it's stupid, but you end up saying it. Still to this day, you say it, you probably say it to your kids, you probably say it to your friends. Anyway, here's the ones you swore you wouldn't use, but you do. We're not in Kansas anymore. Toto. It wasn't, it didn't say Toto. It was just, we're not in Kansas anymore, but I know the movie. Well, Wizard of Oz, one of my favorites. So I, that was the most popular one. I was like, <laughs> um, I know Kung Fu from The Matrix. You shall not pass from Lord of the Rings. Live long and prosper from Star Trek. No, Luke, I am your father from Star Wars. Hello, my name is Indigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die <laughs> from Princess Bride. I still say that when I'm drunk sometimes. Antonio Montana. I, I didn't know it was Indigo Montoya. I'm saying it wrong. I think I got Tony Sopranos messed up in there. So I was like, Tony Montana, prepare to die. <laughs> it's not the right name. It's in Indigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. I can see the part in my brain right now. I love that movie. I fucking love that movie. As you wish. I can't believe that didn't make the freaking list. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about the best uh, most common, most popular sports and or fitness quotes. Or, I'm sorry, <laughs> catchphrases. If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. <sighs> I see that on the walls, though, in the gyms all the time. Beauty is pain. The bottom line. Pain is weakness leaving the body. You're only one workout away from your goal. There is no I in team. Nothing will work unless you do. Do something today your future self will thank you for. Strive for progress, not perfection. Use it or lose it. <laughs> I've heard all of those too. Um, here's some cool ones. If you just want to be like, whatever, make people laugh, be a little bit of cheese bowl, dad joke vibes. Here's some ones for you. What you got cooking, good looking? <laughs> Take care, teddy bear. Uh, see you later, alligator. After a while, crack now. Um, tie your shoe, kangaroo. What do you know, daddy-o? What's shaking, bacon? What's the dinny? Oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> What's the deal, banana peel? What's the deal, Batmobile? What's the plan, Stan? What's the story, Morning Glory? <laughs> That's a little bit perverted. You can say that to your man in the morning. <laughs> That's a double whammy. <laughs> hey, um, what's the word, Big Bird? Why so cranky, Yankee? <laughs> All right, um, let's do the top 
the most common um, catchphrases people use in the workplace or business world. Hell is for other people. I never heard that one, though. I was surprised that one was on there. Another quiet day at the office. Heard that. In the weeds. I say that all the time. Lost in translation. I didn't get the memo. <laughs> on the grind. Time crunch. Punching the time clock. Burning the midnight oil. Burning both ends of the wick. That's working too hard, by the way, if, you, if you've never heard that one. Swamped, or I'm swamped. Duty calls. Smoke break. Coffee break. All the hens are clucking. The peanut gallery. And the brass. <laughs> um, so what's some catchphrases you hear at school? Or like university, uh, college? These are the most, well, that age group, I would say. They use these a lot. Got caught up in it. Cram session. Point blank period. I say that a lot. Or period was actually the one, but I added mine because I've been hearing it a lot. <laughs> um, I'm dead or I'm crying. Those are ways to say I'm laugh, LOL, or oh my God, I can't believe it. Like, I'm dead. I'm crying. Um, you got me fucked up, messed up, or tore up. Either mad, angry, made me laugh so hard, something like that. And then, okay, it's like they say it for everything. Okay, like that, I guess. FOMO and YOLO, of course they made the list. Reach for the stars or shoot for the moon. Taking the plunge, baiting the hook, double dipping. Ooh. Stirring the pot or pot stir. Snake in the grass. Backstabber. Two-faced. You're woke. Going green. <laughs> Alright. And to end it out for this one. I think. Yeah. Let's do the most common ones. I know that you've heard these ones. Again, this one is short and sweet this week. I'm a little bit tired. But I don't think you need to hear the history of it at all they originated here in the United States because it's the ones most common in the United States I'm sure they use it in other countries because they immigrated they could have come here with other people like I said if you try to dig into the history you're just gonna go down rabbit holes this person says they they made it up this person said they made it up it's from this year and then you Google and it's like 20 years later and it's like what the fuck it's like a trap but anyway ooh, hiccups most common you're barking up the wrong tree beat around the bush call a spade a spade or calling the pot calling the kettle black can't have your cake and eat it too can't hold a candle chip on your shoulder Close, but no cigar. Cook the books. Cut corners. Cut to the chase. Dead in the water. It's like beating a dead horse. You can't lead a horse to drink. All of those were in the same category. Drop of a hat. Foot the bill. Foot in the mouth. Go belly up. Heard it through the grapevine. Hot potato, in the bag, jump through hoops, learn the ropes, let the cat out of the bag, pass the book, pull the wool over your eyes, or rose-colored glasses, push the envelope, push the glass ceiling, break the glass ceiling, security blanket, steal your thunder, straight from the horse's mouth raining on your parade take it with a grain of salt think outside the box you get more with honey than you do with salt the writing is on the wall <laughs> so i'm sure you've heard all of those i use them all the time i know people in my life use them all the time you can use them in multiple different ways but I hope this one was fun. I, it was.
probably the shortest one we're going to do. Um, again, I'm not really sure. Next week, I'm bouncing between, like, um, a planning a wedding one, like how to get organized planning your own wedding, or um, how to pick your wedding song. So, like, two different ones. Um, a lot of people I know are getting engaged and married this summer, so I'm inspired to do something bridal for you guys. Um, if you're getting engaged over the summer, you're going to be planning through the winter. Um, how can I help you break it down? Or how can I help you pick the best song as a dancer? Let me know. If you have any ideas on wedding stuff that you would want me to cover. Um, I know a lot about fashion, like how to pick your dress how to pick your theme and colors, how to get organized, how to pick your wedding song. Let me know. It'll be a wedding themed one. Give me some ideas and let me know if you, if you're getting married, I'll help you. I'll do some research. What do you want to know? Put it in the comments below. And again, I hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe, and share if you like these vlogs and want me to keep doing them. I enjoy doing them. I like, it makes me learn too. You know, I just like to lighten it up a little bit. Give you some uh, fun. Something fresh. Anyway, toodaloo boo-boos. Boy.